So this is Mike Ollerton. And this is Helen Williams. And uh, we're doing this because I noticed a post on Twitter where somebody had said, I'd love to use some more man manipulatives in my classroom, but I don't, I'd like some help on how to use them. So we thought we'd make some three minute videos on commonly found structured apparatus in maths rooms and talk from our different perspectives on how we might use them. Yep. Yep. So my perspective is from sort of early years, early primary. Oh yeah, and I'm mainly secondary. Yeah, okay. have been, yes. So uh, do you want to start? Uh, well, we'll start with linking cubes, which uh, I'm sure that many, many people have used in their classrooms. Uh, simple tasks, uh, how many different shapes can you make with four linking cubes? Uh, and asking questions such as, uh, how many different ones are there? looking at maybe the symmetries of the shapes produced. Uh, how do you know you've got them all? How do you know you've got them all, yeah. Uh, and then, what do you mean by different? Uh, yes, indeed, mm. yes, yeah. Uh, moving to some recording on the isometric paper. So I've done that sort of thing as well, but um, I particularly like these cubes because rather than multi-link, because they fit much more easily together for little fingers find those much easier to clip together and um, they make a satisfying noise when you unclip them but just uh, children just making some shapes with these young children just making some shapes and recording them so these are two centimeter each so uh, they can make these for make animals um, that's a very common thing that they make and um, you can do things like okay so uh, are you going to be able to draw that animal and um, accurately enough so if we hide that animal Mike can make one just the same exactly the same as yours from the recording that's quite a nice task uh, and a development of that task is to have uh, I've made a shape uh, I'm going to put it behind my back uh, and I'm going to try and describe it okay. to Helen so that she can make the same shape Okay, we'll have a go. So I can't see, I've made the shape, but I can't now see it because it's behind my back. But I'm going to try to uh, give instructions so that Helen can make it. Mm. But I'm going to use fewer cubes. <laughs> <laughs> We're not worried about the colour here then, Mike, are we? Unless you've got... Not bothered about the colour, okay. yeah. yeah. So uh, my, my shape is made of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six cubes. Can I have these two? Okay. Uh, it's got, uh, the, the, the shape has got four cubes joined together. In a line? Yeah, yeah. Like that? And then I'd like you to place the other two cubes so that you make a symmetrical shape. Any symmetrical Any shape? Any symmetrical shape, that could be one. Can you make another, another? What would the? Take these out. Yeah. Like an S. Like an S, so we're looking at something with rotational symmetry order one, two, <laughs> even. Is that your shape? Uh, no. You had my shape the first time. <laughs> well, let me see, because I want to see it's the same. Ta da! Okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can also, actually, what I've enjoyed doing was you give each of these colours a value. So you say this is worth one, this yeah. is worth two, this is worth three, this is worth four. So can you make a shape that's worth 20? Can you make a, an animal that's worth 20, okay. say, for example? Yeah. yeah. Uh, moving into secondary, we can obviously have lots of tasks with volume and surface area. Uh, taking uh, a number with lots of factors, lots of gazintas, so... 24, how many, different, how many different cuboids can we make? What different amount of... Uh... Oh, I like 12 for that. That's quite, I've done that with 12. That's okay, really go, nice. go for 12 Yeah, 12 Go for nice. 12. Go on then. How many can you make with 12? You see, I quite like all the same colour for this sort of oh, thing. All right, well, we might not have 12. But... No, <laughs> but it is nice. And the reason I like all the same colour is that you're paying attention to the shape rather and the, the arrangement color. rather than the colour. Okay. So I think that's quite for important. For that particular task. For that task. Yeah. Yes. With some children, and, you uh, can't ignore the colour, it's uh, too predominant. And that's interesting because on that task, 
you wanted different colours and in this task we want them the same colour. Yes, and, that's and, right. And we're making that choice according to the nature of the task that we're working yes, on. Yes, that's exactly right, yeah. Think, so yeah. it's not about hard and fast rules, it's about... What suits. What suits mm. the, the activity. Yeah, and that's it that doesn't matter about the age of the student at all, does it? That's true about the t attaches itself to the task. It's not. I'm not saying we're yeah. going to use single colours for younger children. We're yeah, not yeah, saying yeah. that, are we? Yeah, no, we're not. No, certainly not.